just before uh, Christmas Eve um, and I'd just organised everything, my tree, everything, my, all my presents um, and within like from nipping out because I had to get other little bits, I had a horrible horrific house fire, like I felt like it was a dream. We received a call contact to say that there had been a fire at one of our properties, so myself and my colleague Richard um, went out to the property. It was just, it was like, really scary. We weren't allowed into the property because of the condition, because we didn't know whether or not it was safe, but we had to look through the windows. It was completely gutted, um, everything was destroyed and badly smoked, damaged, and it had been the ladies' family home. It was upsetting to see everything gone. The property was beyond the tenant being able to remain in there, so I worked closely with her to arrange for her to move into some temporary accommodation, but because of the time of year and it being Christmas, she agreed to stay with her family. I dealt with them. Um, helping her to, to cope with the situation and make sure that everything was in place for her to try and alleviate the situation. Debbie, she was, she was really upset as well and I don't know, I just felt like she really understood and really kind of assured me that it, I'd, you know, like it'd get better and you know, we'll, you'll get back and she just, she just like was dead good. You know, helping. The family were really struggling, and it um, it just makes you realise that when times like that, you really need your family. And unfortunately, the tenant didn't have much support around her at the time due to issues with herself and some medical conditions. So it was just important to to try and help to make sure that she was given the best opportunity and the best chance of getting everything sorted. I'm sat here now and I'm back in the, where it happened. We got quite a lot of cash donated and some hampers from the police and other organisations, but obviously we didn't want to keep sending strangers into the house. So myself and Richard just kept popping out and keeping in touch with the family and making sure they knew where things had come from because they were really thankful for everything and they also wanted to know who'd sent it and so they could send thank you cards to people. It just don't feel like darkness anymore. It just feels like light. It's really good to, to know that in the community that sometimes gets a lot of bad press, that when things like this, that tragedies happen, the community do all really pull together. And that was something that the family commented on as well. And obviously as a housing officer in that area, it, it's nice to, to see the community pulling together. I think I would have been lost without the support and help and guidance what Debbie gave me at that time.